Welcome back my dear friends and students, a very good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all of you. And as you know this is the DADM2 which is data analysis and decision making 2 course on the NPTEL MOOC series. And this total course duration is for 12 weeks which is uh, for uh, 30 hours. And each week we have uh, 5 lectures and each lecture is basically for half an hour and after each week we have one assignment. Now, we have already completed uh, 4 weeks that is 4 assignments and we are going to start the 5th week. And if you remember in the 4th in the week we made part of the discussion was decision trees based on the fact that how we have been able to use the concept of utility and utility analysis. And before that we had covered the only simple formulation of uh, DA which I will come in order to solve that later on which I did mention and I am again mentioning it. And my name is Aghunandan Sengupta from the IME department IIT Kanpur in India. So, today we will start the fifth week and it, as you can see this is the 21st lecture, first uh, lecture for the fifth week. So, today uh, we will discuss the concept of analytical hierarchy process. Now, in analytic hierarchy process to give a very brief background, whatever is written there, I will read that, explain that, I will also give some something uh, in a very general sense about the ideas uh, of AHP. AHP which is analytical hierarchy process is basically a so called subset of analytical network process, where the relationship between uh, different type of alternatives or different type of decisions are uh, through a network analysis like a network but what we know in network analysis in operation research and network analysis in electrical engineering. Uh, some relationship is given how one net uh, node affects the other node, what is the probability of effect, what is the flow and all these things are generally considered in, in general, but not for ANP which is analytical network process. And this method was developed by SATI, so Thomas L. SATI in the 1970s. And this as the slide says the analytical hierarchy process is a structured technique for organizing and analyzing complex decision where both subjective and, and objective decisions are to be taken. And where trying to rank the decisions concerning both the subjective and the objective decisions may be a little bit difficult, where they are conflicting decisions, where the multi criteria um, concept has to be considered in such a way that all the different decisions have to be taken considering there are different decision make makers where weightage has to be given on to the level of importance one should assign to the decision makers. So, it was developed as I had already mentioned by Thomas L. Satie in the 1970s and is an main application is in group decision making. Group decision means say for example, there you want to hire one HR um, uh, consultant in your company and uh, the general manager, the CEO, the managing director, everybody wants to as a group conduct an interview. Obviously, each would have a different way of analyzing the candidate, somebody would obviously all the criteria can be academic qualification, past experience, the way he or she handles the interview, way he or she is able to answer the question. The, the competent knowledge the person has, the HR skill the person has, but uh, in spite of the fact even if there are points based on all these um, uh, criteria, each and every of the decision maker which I said the general manager, the CEO, the managing director, they will basically have different ways of trying to analyze that candidate. So, here in this case you will try to utilize AHP in the most objective sense in order to arrive at the right decision or say for example, you want to buy a car uh, example which will come later on or you want to basically buy a house. And if you remember I did mention about trying to buy a house where locality will be important, price of the house would be important, resale value of the house would be important, how the close the house, house is or the apartment is to near the shopping market, shopping mall would be important, how close the schools is important how good the, tra the, the transport system is in and around that apartment, whether there are metros, whether there are bus stops, whether there are auto stops, whether there are taxi stops, 
would be important, how safe that apartment would be in considering the locality would be important. So, all these things are considered and uh, also maybe one of the point which would be important is that resale value of that apartment. So, when you consider all these objective and subjective criteria, you want to basically take uh, the input from different decision makers such so that you arrive at a consolidated score so that it gives you a much more a rational decision. AHP which is a decision analysis prob uh, problems in, in decision analysis problems involving finite number of alternatives. So, what are the alternatives as I mentioned for buying the house for the car can be say for example, the cost can uh, can be an important factor, the luggage space can be an important factor, the safety issue can be an important factor, the price of the car can be an important factor, the f mileage of the car can be an important factor, the re resale value of the car can be Im important factor. The passenger space, amount of space the passenger has, number of passengers who can sit in that car is an important factor. So, when you consider all these important factors the or, 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 consider, or the alternatives, they generally arise in any decision making process. So, what two very good examples which I just gave is for the car and the house. One must remember when, when you are trying to make a decision that the type of the data available for, for this analysis based on which one wants to draw some conclusion can both be deterministic as well as probabilistic or they are uncertain. So, if they are deterministic we know for certain what are the values, what are the decision arms in which way the decision flows while if they are probabilistic you should basically have some probability or probability distribution, but we would not consider a probability distribution we will only concentrate on the fact of probability values being assigned such so that it is easy for us to take a decision considering those probabilities. When the data is uncertain as I just mentioned, then one of the many tools which is actually utilized in this case is basically the analytical hierarchy process which we will discuss. In AHP subjective judgment is quantified, so subject may be good, bad, whether the, the house is a good locality, medium locality, bad locality, considering safety or say for example, the price of the car is too high, it is affordable it is definitely below much much below the overall budget which I have which is a cheap car. So, these may be subjective or uh, criteria. Other can be when you are selecting the uh, candidate, it may be that you are being biased because he or she is from the same institute where you, where you from where you have done your graduation or may be the, uh, the person is from that area where you belong. So, obviously, those points are not rational, but these type of of subjective criteria or subjective decision points do generally come or maybe the person has a very good experience from a good company or maybe the person is very good in talking. So, these basically points which are considered in a subjective uh, way should definitely be considered using the points as that you arrive at a much more logical answer. So, let me read it again in AHP subjective judgment is quantified in logical manner and then utilized to reach at some meaningful conclusion. The second point says one must remember that the decision makers assessment towards risk and his or her attitude towards return or average benefit. I am basically considering there are two conflict, conflicting points which should be mentioned one is basically the amount of positive benefit which you will get and another is basically the amount of so called negative benefit which will basically go out from your pocket. If you remember the decision tree analysis what we have, you had to basically build a factory and then you basically got some returns at an interval of 1 year for 20 years. So, in that problem it was 30 million per year for the coming 20 years when if the demand was high or other case was basically you got uh, a return of 20 million per year for the coming 20 years if the demand is low. And obviously, you have to build uh, you had a sunk cost where the money was basically utilized to build up the factory or do some pilot runs or do some marketing so on and so forth. So, you will consider both the factors which is basically uh, the risk and the returns in such a way that they give us a much a rational decision in order to arrive at what is the best um, decision considering different type of alternatives which you have. So, it will so in, in this process we get uh, the decision makers attitude to a risk or average benefit and it reflects the decision makers overall outlook about any decision process. So, that they need not be rational, 
but it gives us a good picture that how the decision maker analyzes any any alternative considering different type of criteria such that he or she is able to arrive at a decision which gives him or her the best benefit. So, we will basically collate all these decisions and try to arrive at a answer. So, let us consider through a very simple example, we will basically um, increase the level of involvement in the problems accordingly. So, consider Ram has received the final calls from three institutes which is I am Ahmedabad, I am Bangalore and I am Rachi, uh, Calcutta. Uh, so, there are A, B, C. Oh, by the way, in the problem which you are discussing, the actual theoretical concept will come later on, but I am just giving, trying to give you a, a view, view that how logically you can um, solve this problem. Ram's main criteria to based on which he will take the decision, there are two. So, it may, may be more than two also, it can be less than two also. So, for him the decision criteria are or, or the importance are based on academic reputation, how good the teachers are, how rigorous the course is, whether different type of new courses in finance, in marketing, in operation research are done. So, all these things are considered as a part and parcel of academic reputation. And uh, uh, academic reputation uh, through to can be say for example, how frequently the examinations are held, what is the overall um, feedback from the industry about the academic rig um, uh, rigor of the course, how frequently people go abroad for, do high, for doing higher studies. So, all these things may be considered by Ram in order to arrive as at some level of score for the academic reputation. The other uh, criteria based on which Ram takes a decision for the alternatives is basically the placement potential. Placement potential can be what type of different companies come, what is the median salary, what is the average salary, what is the maximum salary, what different type of companies in finance come, what different type of companies, companies in marketing come. So, all these things are, are considered. It may be also that that how many students are recruited by those companies in, in each and every field. So, these information both academic and, and placement one are considered by Ram to arrive at the decision. Now, let us consider and here I will basically explain a little bit more in depth. So, it mentions which is the second bullet point for his that is Ram's academic reputation is two or twice more important than placement. Thus, placement potential is given a weight of one third and while academic, academic reputation is given a weight of two third, which means that if I place academic re reputation at twice the level of placement. So, the out of the three uh, total score of three points or it can be six points or it can be nine points whatever it is, I am basically considering that it can be proportionally divided. There Ram would basically assign 33 percent. 33.33 percent of the, of the weightages on placement and the rest which is 66.67 percentage of the weights would be going to academic reputation. So, whatever the weights you place they would be divided accordingly to the ratio of one third is to two third for the case of placement potential with respect to academic potential for RAM. Now, here the question comes is you just saw arbitrarily hypothetical values of one third and two third. Now, the question may come from your fact. So, did I assume hypothetically? The answer is yes, but the scores of one third and two third or one is, is to two, the score which is being assigned to placement with respect to academic potential is being given by Ram who is the decision maker. If I am the decision maker in place of Ram, then my overall score which is which I assign to placement potential and academic potential or academic rigor would definitely may not be 1 is to 2. Say for example, it can be 1 is to 4 or it can be 2 is to 1. So, the points which are assigned depends on the decision maker based on which you will basically collate the data in order to arrive at that answer. So, if you remember I did mention that it sometimes becomes subjective but that subjectivity comes from the point of view of the decision maker who is assigning those points with respect to the different type of decisions or the alternatives which are there. Now, if you remember I did mention that academic and potential or reputation and placement potential are the only two criteria. it can be or, or it can be more than two. So, it can be placement potential, it can be academic rigor, it can be say for example, how the place is that 
what is the infrastructure, how good or bad the infrastructure is. It may be also be that whether if there are relatives for Ram in that place, he would be basically more be more inclined to visit that place, because when it comes to uh, during the holidays, he would be in a much better position to visit his uh, relatives, which he thinks is very also important and a part and parcel of life. So, all these subjective things would definitely be taken into consideration, for, but for the time being, I am only considering academic reputation and placement potential. Thus, Ram's ranking based on Ram's own, on, own set of scores are like this. So, when Ram considers academic, academic reputation, he is basically giving a scores accordingly and again it is subjective. He places 40 percent of the weight on IMA when only academic reputation. Now, initially the ranking was done based on two different criteria criteria based on which Ram is going to take a decision. Now, you are basically trying to pick up each and every criteria and give points based on the decision alternatives or the which is the alternatives. What are, what are the alternatives? One is I am Ahmedabad, one is I am Bangalore and one is I am Calcutta. So, Ram is placing academic reputation for I am Ahmedabad the highest for I am Calcutta the second level and from I am Bangalore the third level. The points which he wants to assign if you consider a overall score of 100 or 1 whatever it is, I am just basically trying to normalize it. So, initially it may not be normal, but I will try to normalize it. So, the normalized scores which are happening is 40 percent for Ahmedabad for academic reputation, 25 percent for I am Bangalore for academic reputation and 35 percent from I am Calcutta for academic reputation. Now, let us come to the placement potential. If you remember placement potential with respect to academic um, reputation was in the ratio of 1 is 1 by 3 is to 2 by 3. So, it was twice for academic reputation. Uh, so, now for the placement potential consider the scenario for Ram. Again, when you normalize, again a very hypothetical example, but check the values, it will give you some, some information. He places 30 percent weightage on I am Ahmedabad on his total score for placement potential, 40 percent where which means that he is trying to basically give the highest score for I am Bangalore, which is as 40 percent and he is also given a score of 30 percent for I am Calcutta. So, which means for academic reputation, the scoring in the ranking system was I am Ahmedabad first, I am Calcutta second, I am Bangalore third, while in the placement potential, it was basically I am Bangalore first and both I am Ahmedabad and I am Calcutta at the same uh, standing. So, if I consider the scores assigned to I am Ahmedabad, I am Bangalore, I am, I am Calcutta based on these two points for Ram, they would be the multiplicative factors and then sum it up for the falling points. What is the amount of points which you are putting for academic reputation with respect to placement potential and each point would be multiplied by the fact of the score which you are trying to put for I am Ahmedabad, I am Calcutta and I am Bangalore based on each and every individual criteria which you have. So, it can be expanded like I will try to draw it here. So, maybe the decision is here and for each decisions you have basically A, I am pu putting the alphabet A for Ahmedabad, B for Bangalore, C for Calcutta and academic reputation AC, placement potential, same thing AC and PL for B, AC and PL for C. Now, here you saw or if you if you open, look at this diagram, this is the first hierarchy, this is the third uh, second hierarchy. Now, these hierarchies can go on to tertiary level and, and below that, which means that 
the overall level of importance which you are going to give to each and every criteria and alternatives would basically depend what are the different hierarchies which you have and basically you will go from the bottom part keep multiplying the factors till you basically reach the main decision point where you want to basically make a decision and each of the paths paths being I will use a different color. So, maybe this is path 1, consider this is path 2, consider this is path 3, consider this is path 4 and similarly you will basically have all different paths such that the sum of the product of this uh, probabilities of the points would give you the the scores and you will rank them from the maximum to the minimum and take the one which basically suits your uh, criteria. Now consider, now let us make the problem more interesting. So till now you had only Ram, now consider the fact that Ram has as a brother. So Ram got, see for example, got the offers of A, B, C on uh, 25th of January, Let's consider the hypothetical date. So, he is very happy, he makes a decision and you saw that, that how he had made the decision with respect to this academic potential, placement reputation, with respect to each you had, he had ranked A, B, C. Now after 4 days, Sham his brother gets a call. So, obviously Sham is also happy. So, Sham get got calls for the MB program from the same 3 institute. It need not be, but I am basically considering it in a very simplistic measure. It could have been Lucknow or Indore or say for example, um, ETH Zurich, whatever it is. It can be Indian, abroad, whatever, but he will try to basically consider those points accordingly. But for the time being, it is again ABC for Sham. Now, the overall weightages of the criterias or weightages of the different type of points based on which um, or the what I will say the characteristics based on based on which Sham will take the decision are again placement potential and academic reputation, but for Sham the academic reputation and placement potential are not no longer in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 1 is to 3, because now Sham thinks academic reputation is more important for him. Hence, the, the scores which he is putting and this is again subjective based on Sham's own, own decision. Ram has nothing to do here because Ram's decision was not being affected by Sham and similarly Sham's decision is not being affected by Ram. So, I will just highlight it. So, if you see the weightages are one fourth and three fourth, that means the weightages of academic reputation is thrice that of placement potential. In the initial case, it was twice. Now, when I again consider and ask the question to Sham, for him or her, the alternatives are, see for example, for placement potential, which I will highlight here. For him, I am Calcutta is the highest, hence he, he gives a weight of 50 percent out of the total normalized score of 1 or if it is 100, it will be 50 and he places Ahmedabad and Bangalore at the same level of 25 or out of 100. Now, you may be thinking why he did, did he do so, like why did he place a score of 50 percent on Calcutta. Maybe say for example, Sham is more finance oriented, more operation research oriented where the job market for finance and operation research would be more much better in Calcutta with respect that is his perception with respect to Ahmedabad and Bangalore. Hence, he puts a score of 25, 25 and 50 for A, B and C respectively. Now come to academic reputation. For him the academic reputation from I am Ahmedabad and I am Bangalore are same and that of Calcutta is one notch lower. So, hence he basically places a score of 35, 35 to Ahmedabad and Bangalore and the 30 point for the score for academic reputation for Calcutta and which is being done by Champ. Now, you may think, well, if Sham is basically thinking that the academic um, reputation for Mayank Calcutta is higher for finance and operations, so obviously his score for the academic rigor for IIM Calcutta on based on these points should be much higher, which is true, technically should be, 
but when people take decisions it would may not be we will consider his rationality is there and we will try to overcome that irrational decision by considering the consistency index and the ratios we will come to that later on. So, if there are conflicting um, uh, points which is being mentioned by a one person. So, obviously, we will try to take care of, of that and what is conflicting I will come to that later. So, when you consider Sham's uh, score it is basically uh, again the multiplicative factor of the of the points which he places from for um, um, I am Ahmedabad, I am Bangalore, I am Calcutta and the scores which he have basically given with respect to the academic reputation and the placement potential of 3, 3 by 4 is to 1 by 4 would also be considered. So, these are the scores which are given 20.25 into 1 fourth, 1 fourth is the ratio of placement with respect to academic. And for Ahmedabad, it he had basically given a score which was the same ranking as Ahmedabad, uh, Bangalore. So, it was 25 into 1 fourth and 35 he had given the highest score for academic um, rigor. So, it is 0.35 or 35 into 3 by 4. Similarly, for I am Bangalore, it is 0.25 into 1 fourth plus 0.35 into 3 fourth and finally, he for, for Calcutta is 0 0.5 because he had given the highest point for uh, for placement potential it is 0 0.5 into 1 fourth plus 0 0.3 which is for the academic reputation into 3 fourth. Now, say for example, let us make the problem more interesting. I, I have not added that, but let me analyze and tell you the background. Now, say for example, now, after the letter came for Shah, Ram and then for Sham, see for example, the parents are very happy, uh, Ram's and Sham parents and they are elated. But let us consider the actual practical situation they are going to face. Ram, uh, so, if you consider individually Ram, Ram has one decision, whatever the alternative is, it can be A or B or C, I am not going to go in the details, I am basically mentioning the more qualitative feel of that. It can be say for example, here he has chosen Ahmedabad and say for example, Sham has chosen Calcutta. So, individually they are very happy, but let us consider what is the overall objective decision which the family has to take as a group. Now, for Ram and Sham, the, the overall points or overall importance his their parents will give both to Ram and Sham would be of the same level, Maybe it is so hence when Ram and Sham's parents gives um, the scores to the decisions, decisions are basically the sons would basically be 50 percent and 50 percent. Next point can be say for example, if they think that one of their um, relative is there in um, Bangalore. So, obviously, both the parents should definitely be in, in Bangalore, but other point can be say for example, the cost of Bangalore is very high, but Calcutta cost is low. So, obviously, the cost factor, the relative factor, the importance they want to place uh, on the son's career, all these points would be considered in a very rational light, such that both, both Ram as well as Sham along with the decision which the parents take would be considered to arrive at a cumulative score, such that the best alternative which is taken by each may not be best for them but overall it will be the best one considering the points which have been put by, by them individually when they are going to take that subjective and objective criteria into consideration are very rational. So, with this I will end the 21st class and continue more about the discussion on the AHP in the 22nd and the 23rd class accordingly. Have a nice day and thank you very much.